This is Ray Orsini here at IT Nation Secure in Orlando, Florida. Joining me is Mr. Patrick Beggs, CISO of ConnectWise. How are you doing, Patrick? Doing great, Ray. Thanks for having me, man. No, my, thanks my, for my, coming, my, my first gig of the morning. I'm, I, yeah. you know, got my coffee, me, ready to go. So. I, you know, I know we had to start strong this morning, <laughs> yep. so I was like, "Who's the heaviest hitter I got?" Uh, and thanks. obviously, yep. Ragu's not available, so we called you. <laughs> and, no, no, he dude. would be a heavy hitter. That's yeah, yeah, he would be. <laughs> now, how's Secure been for you, man? It's been amazing, um, nonstop. I've been really, really excited about the, you know, about the attendance, the energy. I mean, I'm not just saying this. It does feel a little, a little different in a good way. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, you heard, you know, you heard um, Amir talk about, you know, Security 360 launching yeah. that, and I, I can tell you, um, you know, as a, a security practitioner and running large operations, I've been chasing that unicorn single yeah. pane of glass for a long yeah. time. Yeah. I've come close, right? So tell me, so you know, tell me so, what that means. You yeah. single pane of glass. Oh, you're okay. absolutely right. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, yeah. but we have yeah. MSPs of all. Mm -hmm operational sure. levels and can, you know they're all education levels yeah. so why is that single pane of glass for those that don't know why is that so important break it down you know in a simple term it's called a common operational particular common op operational picture of your environment okay. um i my folks right now i mean any any security shop it's not mm -hmm. unique to connect wise most mm -hmm. most shops even mature ones right mm -hmm. have to go to about three or four different dashboards um you know operational screens to check their vulnerability you know their yeah. threat vulnerability management status their SOC tickets cues right mm -hmm. um their threat intelligence feeds their t you know their threat intelligence their tips you know things like that even the yeah. gr you know even something that's not that sexy grc but th it does yeah. that can be updated on a live basis mm -hmm. and having all that in one stop shop again so when well, you know, even on the infrastructure side, we're going to go down a rabbit yeah. hole. You mentioned Ragu. Yeah. You know, we we you know we see infrastructure issues. You know, we want to look at our controls and yeah. our sensors to know. If, I tell my talk about paranoia. I tell mm -hmm. my team to disprove it's mm -hmm. something not cyber related, even if it's infrastructure. Right. So that you know that thing. Mm -hmm. what, you know what they're talking about right now. That's that's huge because when something does go down, you know, speed kills. It really does. Yeah. Um, and you have to be able to know what's going on. So that's, yeah, that, you know, that correlation, that ability to see, visualize all the data, have it all in single pane of glass, so you can see what's and, what together. Yeah. And yeah. just the you know again how we're with everything being SaaS based, right? There yeah. really shouldn't be a reason why it shouldn't be you know consolidated oh, yeah. like that. So. Hundred yeah. percent. So. You gotta ask the big question. You can't have any interview <laughs> nowadays without AI in the in the yeah. cabinet. So, you know, we talked pre pre show about you know some experiences with my brother in law and mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. going to analyze mm -hmm. potential threats. And yeah. I think that's maybe oh, where yeah. AI makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, but you you've been every iteration in the security space over your career. Yeah. You look at all that and qualify it with the AI promise. Yeah. And where do you see AI going in terms of security? So. I'll back up to 2017. Um, I, it, you know, I was working on some D, some DoD projects. I was at Booz Allen Hamilton, mm -hmm. and we developed uh, and you know we have a I, part of a team with a patent for AI for security operation our security operations platform. Okay. You know, if you think about a lot of the mo modern sims that have kind of come up, you know, in, implementing ML, right? Yeah. AI is taking it to the next level, right? Yeah, uh, ML is is it's still kind of binary in a sense where. Yeah. Yes, it does. It's, it tracks your behavior, it tracks yeah. the system's behavior, and looks for anomalous things that shouldn't be there, right? Yeah. AI will. AI just takes it to the next level at speed and scale, right? right. And really, and then starts getting predictive, right? Which is, Which the, is game the real changer. catch, right? Because the, the ML, changer. you're still basically a bunch of if else statements almost. Right. I mean, like it's hard to so interpret. So ML is table stakes yeah. now for a lot of the technology. Yeah. We're, at least I'm implementing, right? right? Um, in a, from a sim environment, if you don't have some, some sort of ML environment, yeah. then you're you're behind. Yeah. AI obviously taking it to the next level and really getting more predictive uh, on that side of the house. I know they folks like the you know the, all the RPA and the mm -hmm. document creation side of it. And trust me, we use all that stuff too oh, yeah. because yeah. it makes no one likes to write security policy. Oh, of course. Now right. you can just do it literally. Yeah. It's um, that's the amazing part. It's like uh -huh. here's the bug report. Here's a CVE done. It's like wow, okay. I, you know, I'm like, like am I, I'm, I'm like checking my teams. Like, you got yeah. some extra time on your hands. Now, yeah. You? So um, you better be finding more stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> You just hit the nail on the yeah. head. So that it does it frees mm -hmm. it frees up brain power too to yeah. come in. So it's more now trust but verify, mm -hmm. you know, um, activity for a lot of the tier one stuff. Like I, mm -hmm. I automate most of my tier one yeah. you know, sock stuff, right? Yeah. Um, the, then we have some, you know, tier, the two tier, level two, level three folks will come in and verify that, mm -hmm. and just and then they, the threat hunters love it because mm -hmm. it really carves out data more for them, and they can yeah. they can hunt a lot more efficiently. Well, you get so many thousands, hundreds of thousands of data points filtering yeah. through that. It's got to be mind yeah. numbing, right? Yeah. put them on the important stuff right exactly so but looking at especially in the security space false positives are just as dangerous as real positives because it still sends you down the rabbit hole still resource intensive yep. and a ton of other reasons and can be disruptive if, you know to normal operations mm -hmm. ai is known to have hallucinations ai 
you know, sometimes the data is circumspect, right? Mm -hmm. So I imagine you're taking that into account. So for these security engineers that are starting to get into the space, that are learning the prompt engineering, that are learning, yep. you know, what to look out to, how to inform the data sets, mm -hmm. um, keeping an eye on qualifying. Yep. How are you? How are you and your team doing that? That you don't give them necessarily the crutch of AI at first when you're learning, when they're when they're you know when they're building and when they're understanding, you know, trying to solve a problem, right? Yeah. You you know, they use it as a you know a quiver, you know, and you know yeah. a quiver in the back. To be honest with you, so that it can't take the place of the foundational knowledge of how to set up an architecture, how a process flow works, how an escalation path is executed, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. it, it's you know it's it's an enhancer, right? Obviously, yeah. and it, and it's a you know it's it's speed to scale enabler as well. Yeah. So that's kind of how, I mean, hey man, we're not not the term making up as we go along, but there's it's no. still it's a lot of it's it's a lot of just paving the path because a lot of it's yeah. folks are you know it's an it's a new frontier. Right? Yeah. Well, so, and that's you know, why I get concerned with like yeah. people coming into the space because up to now the people that came to the security space already had experience in the tech space sure. already, and yeah. this was in the next iteration. Yeah. We have people coming in now that they're starting in the security space. I still throw them in tier yeah. one. I still throw them in the SOC. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm with you. Or, I mean, yeah. even on like on our, the GRC side or the threat mm -hmm. intelligence side, right? But mm -hmm. they still have to, you know, again, folks want to come in and start doing threat hunting and pen testing. I kind of yeah. get a chuckle out of them like, yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> let's get out of the deep end a little bit. Let's right. step it back. You, you still have to have a, again, yeah. it goes back to foundation. And then they start using the, you know, they start pulling those arrows out, you know, yeah. and some of those, you know, some of the, the AI tools that we'll, we, we start implementing, right? Um, yeah. can, you know, it kind of graduate into those. So, yeah. All right. So next to last question, let me ask you, with AI, you've been working on ML, you've been working yeah. in the space in this type of application since 2017. Yeah. So fast forward seven years later, the mm -hmm. benefit of hindsight and hopefully informing the future, mm -hmm. do you think AI gets to that point? You know, when it becomes generative, where yes. you can you can trust it to do most of the heavy lifting? I think I think it's gonna, so I think it were, it's, you know, it's a, I think it's it's getting there, right? Yeah. Um, I, I think, yes, it's gonna get to the point, again, there has to always be a human in the loop, right? Yeah, there has always. to be. Um, well, you have comms, you, you know, have- it's, it's that gap that's just, yeah. you know, that it's just gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller, yeah. right? And folks are going to have to adapt to that, right? Yeah. Because um, a lot of folks don't want to let go of their toys. Right? They're used to having this, this similar yeah. conversations. They're comfortable mm -hmm. in the space. And now right. it's like maybe they don't have to do that anymore. <clears throat> they have but other stuff. The interesting thing is you talked about the ML didn't really drive us that. that Because you, you said mm -hmm. it, it's, I mean, it, at, at the time it, was, it seemed complex. Right. But then as it kind of level set, you're like, okay, it still is kind of binary, yeah. right? I think we're still, we're, we don't know what AI is going to bring in that regard, but, you know, we talked about a lot of things you need to be concerned with. I think folks can't forget about those things like yeah. governance models. How are you employing it? You know, being careful, it could create a lot of shadow IT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what worries me the most yeah. is it starts doing things in like dev environments and st starts standing things up that if, again, if you're not experienced or understanding of how to implement it from a security or even a yeah. you know, CTO side of the house, mm -hmm. you know, it might get out of control. So. I, yeah, and that's that's the concern I have as yeah. well. It's it's just going to accelerate things. I mean, just mm -hmm. no different than you know you had the applications the script kitties used, yep. and you know, and we saw what came out of that, and mm -hmm. now AI has the same potential. I mean, we're seeing folks. I mean, you know, you know, if, you know, setting up bad, you know, bad guys setting up environments, right? Um, you know, doing DNS registries at, at now they're doing it at just at speed like you couldn't believe it's because. Insane. But yeah. on the on the inverse, right? Uh, hosting providers are starting to implement it for takedowns, right? Yeah. A lot faster. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's you know, it's a fun cat and mouse game yeah. kind of watch on that side. It's so yeah. with that in mind, let me ask you the last question: What's next? What do you you? We're working in the ML space mm -hmm. back then. You've yep. seen the landscape change. You've had a couple of years under your belt now at ConnectWise. What do you see as next? What do we need in the space? We So I'm going to go back to that. You know, the, the ecosystem at writ large at whole still needs to get the basics right. We okay. we're, yeah, we, we're, 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 we're looking at the shining star, this AI shining star, but mm -hmm. we still need to folks, you know, the, the, the bad actors, as you know, mm -hmm. you know, are, are still you know, are, are still popping things without MFA. They're still yeah. getting, they're still seeing infrastructure that's internet facing that isn't etched, yeah. right? Um, until we until we can really solve those basics, right? Um, I think it's, gonna, it's still gonna be a challenge, but yeah. um, the speed at which this is happening from their side is there, again, what we talked about on stage, they don't have governance rules and models. They're right. just, and and they're, they don't care if they make mistakes on it, right? Yeah, they're, they're okay with breaking fast and iterating. So I think, uh, you know, from an external standpoint, you know, from, uh, you know, network monitoring, from an endpoint monitoring, um, you know, 
you're going to have to, it's going to have to be implemented and, and utilized to be able to keep yeah. up to speed. I think that's a big thing. It's, and if folks are, don't do that, they're going to be left, it's going to be left behind. So if I had to summarize the interview, I'd say the TLDR is work on the foundational, yeah, whether you're getting started in the space or you've been here for 15 years, yep. make sure the foundations yep. are in place yep. and trust, but verify that's until okay. we can do otherwise. Uh, Ray, I'm going to steal that for maybe something else yeah. I talk about later today. So it I appreciate good. that, man. <laughs> All right, Patrick Beggs, CISO yeah. of ConnectWise. Yeah, Thank man. you hey, so much. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. you. If you found this episode eye-opening, catch more MSP Dispatch at 10 a.m. throughout the week. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.